Ibiza, Mallorca, Lanzarote and Tenerife may come out of the lockdown before the rest of Spain. But what does that mean for us Brits? Well, we're going to dive right in and find out right after the intro. But first, remember to like, subscribe and click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Now, without further ado, let's go. Okay, so Ibiza, Mallorca and Tenerife may be the first regions to come out of Spain's lockdown, according to the country's health minister. Salvador Ila explained during a press conference that the restrictions would be lifted by province, not by autonomous regions. He did add that there would be exceptions, according to the Euro News Weekly, but didn't explain for which region. Now the Canary Islands, including Tenerife and Gran Canaria, as well as the Balearic Islands, such as Mallorca and Ibiza, are likely to be some of the first to open. Andalusia and Mercia may also be the first regions in the de-escalation plains, the health minister hinted. The regions are seeing a flatter curve of coronavirus cases. The Balearic Islands have recorded its lowest number of infections since the state of alarm, with just five new cases in 24 hours. While Spain slowly comes out of lockdown following the relaxation of outdoor activities which lets children outside for one hour a day, Mr Ela was reluctant to explain what this meant for the tourism industry. He said it was too risky to suggest when hotels, bars and local attractions would be able to open to holidaymakers just yet. The only current date given is May the 2nd, when the public will be able to go back out again for sports or walking. Now some Spanish beaches want to open by mid-June, while government leaders in the Canary Islands are asking for special permission to end the state of emergency, which could see the beaches reopen in a fortnight. Restaurants in three weeks and limited holidays within a month. Andalusia's president, Juan Manuel Moreno, is to propose restaurants and bars open from May the 25th, while Mallorca has predicted that Brits could still return to the island for the holiday season this year despite the coronavirus pandemic. However, while the regions may be the first out of the lockdown, tourist leaders have warned that the UK might not be the first on the list to be welcomed back. The Balearic's tourism minister, Largo Negrilera, said that while the islands could open by summer, only tourists from certain countries would be allowed in. Mr Negrilera said, There are countries like the United Kingdom that have taken too long to adopt containment measures and that also puts us in a different situation with respect to them. Not only that, but airlines in the UK have grounded their fleets, with Ryanair and Jet2 not resuming flights until mid-June at the earliest. Spain is also likely to be very different for tourists this year, with plastic screens at restaurants, less sunbathing space and mandatory masks and temperature checks. Brits could still get a summer holiday this year after an EU chief said late getaways may be possible as long as people keep apart. Earlier this month, European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen said she was optimistic people would be able to travel as coronavirus was brought under control. Mrs von der Leyen said, I think we're going to find smart solutions to have a summer vacation. Maybe a little different with other hygiene measures with a little more social distance, but it is impressive to see that we have found solutions. It followed Transport Secretary Grant Shapps, who said Brits should not book their summer holidays as the COVID-19 crisis might still be raging. So, there you have it. What are your thoughts? Do you think that Britain will be able to get on summer holidays and travel abroad this year? What's your thoughts? Let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, that's all for today. Remember like, subscribe and click that little bell for notifications if you want to upload new videos and I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe, stay positive. Goodbye.